Hey guys, welcome to Vets Diary once again. So today I'm up again with a new topic and I hope it proves useful to all the vet students. So today's topic is the fourth year veterinary books. All the vet students who are in third year and will go in fourth year, they must have a question in their minds that which books are best to study. In fourth year, we have three subjects, veterinary surgery and radiology, veterinary gynecology and obstetrics, and the third one is veterinary medicine. So according to the syllabus, the topic is divided into units and we study accordingly. So initially I will start with gynecology. This is the book you can see. It is of veterinary endology and artificial insemination by MS Saxena. And this book is really good one in which we study about endrology and about the male reproductive system. And in this book you can see that uh, diagrams are also given so it will be useful for you and you can easily understand about the anatomy and other aspects of the male reproductive system. The other book is of reproduction in farm animals by ESC Hafiz. So this book is basically based on the physiology of reproductive system. So in this book also you have diagrams and the content is really good. Then you should definitely study this book. This is a very good book and has very good content. Well, I would like to tell you all that these all are not my books. I have borrowed some of them just to tell you that which, which books you can prefer. And mostly we have photocopies of the books. So uh, this is the book of Applied Veterinary Gynecology and Obstetrics by Dr. Pradeep Kumar and this is basically a book based on clinical aspects of gynecology and obstetrics, mainly it is for obstetrics. In this book you can find the various combinations which you can give of hormones or other drugs used in gynecology. So in this book various case descriptions are given in awesome way. You can easily understand about any case that you receive at your clinics. You should definitely refer this book and at the end you can also find some important words which can be asked in your viva <laughs> because one was asked with us. <laughs> so this is a very nice book you can refer to it. And as our fourth year mostly passed during the COVID times so other than these books we also refer to some online notes available. And in those notes, the notes provided by Tanuvas are the best ones. So we preferred Tanuvas notes also for those topics which were not easily given in the books or in those times in which we cannot prefer books. So this is one of the notes of Tanuvas and this is really good and uh, I liked it the most. Now these are my notes which I made when our college was open for a few days because due to corona most of our time was all we studied online only and these are the photocopies the notes which teachers provided us online this is also one of the photocopied notes of our teachers this is really good you can also you can get them from your teachers and now coming to the best book of tetrics and genital diseases that is by stephen j roberts this is awesome book for gynecology and obstetrics I must say. In this book everything is explained in a very nice and very simple manner and if you are studying gynecology initially or in the initial days then this book is best for you and mostly the teachers recommend this book only. In this book though diagrams are not much but still it has very 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 nice content. So this is the ultimate book that you should prefer for gynecology and obstetrics. So we are done with the gynae. Now coming on the other subject that is veterinary surgery and radiology. So again for the last unit that is for veterinary orthopedics and lameness, we preferred the book of Dr. A.K. Gangwar, Dr. Sangeeta Devi and also Dr. Ajit Kumar Singh and Dr. Naveen Kumar. So this book is a very nice book and well explained topics of orthopedics and lameness are given in this book and this book is written by our teachers only and we just love this book it's very nicely written and in a very comprehensive way it completes the entire veterinary orthopedics and lameness unit the ruminant surgery written by dr rps tyagi and jeet singh this is again a very awesomely written book 
This book is especially for the general surgery and the regional surgery and your concepts will be very clear after reading this book. Essentials of Veterinary Surgery written by Dr. A. Venu Gopalan. So this book is also a very nice one. We mostly have the photocopied notes or we also prefer to the notes given by our seniors because they also make very good notes and they are very useful to understand and get a good knowledge in a very short and comprehensive way. So seniors notes are also one of the best that you can prefer. Now I will show you the notes we got during the COVID times. So friends, uh, well, this is my notebook which I made when we were in college only. And then you can see that these are the notes which I took print out and which we got during COVID times. Our teachers send, uh, send online notes. So these are some of them. And I hope you all don't have to study the COVID and you get a direct exposure. But we have to study under COVID. So these are all our online notes. And you can see that how much we have studied in our final exams. This is all the bundle you can see. Okay, so I have separated according to paper one and paper two. This is paper one and uh, that was paper two. So this was all about surgery. Now coming to the last subject that is the veterinary medicine. So in this, the books we generally refer is of Amlendu Chakravarti. This is a textbook of clinical veterinary medicine. And in this also, I can say that in a very nice way, the general medicine, the general veterinary medicine is explained. In this book, you can find the systemic, metabolic and general diseases part. And again, that was the clinical veterinary medicine. This is a textbook of preventive veterinary medicine in which you can find the bacterial, fungal, viral diseases. So we refer to this also. Actually, we received all the notes online due to the COVID times. So these are the online notes you can see again. This is my notebook. And here we come with all the online stuff. This is which all I took print out. And this was all that I have studied. <laughs> you can see the pen marks. <laughs> okay. So well, as quickly I'm putting this down, it was not easy to study it. it took us quite a great time to finish this all. These all are my notes. This is medicine notes. And yes, Talking about the veterinary jurisprudence, we prefer to our teacher's notes only. He gave us very nice and comprehensive notes. So that was sufficient for us. These are again some of the online notes. So with this, we come to an end of this video. So I hope this video proves useful to all the fourth year veterinary students or who are going to come in the fourth year. And you can easily decide which book to choose for you to study. And don't forget to watch the old videos in which you can find very important veterinary related topics. Till then, have a great day. Keep watching Vets Diary and please like, share and subscribe to our channel.